everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Pallavi. I'm Mukta, and today we're doing a little Trader Joe's haul. We both love Trader Joe's and we go there a lot. So let's get started. Okay. The first thing I got is tomato feta soup from Trader Joe's. This is really nice. You can just microwave it and I make some grilled cheese and you do that. The first thing I got was fresh squeezed orange juice and I am obsessed with fresh squeezed juice so whenever I see it I get it. I hate orange juice but no. The second thing I got is coconut oil spray because you know the last one got lost somewhere in this house <laughs> and she didn't save it so I A. The second thing I got was coconut milk going off with the coconut cream. I use it in like curries and stuff. Um, I make pretty warm food so. Yeah, this I goes think. In there. Yeah, that's a valid statement because I can't cook. So. <laughs> okay. The next thing I got, super exciting, mushroom <laughs> and sliced. So yeah, I don't have to cut. Like I like doing the minimum stuff like when I'm cooking. So this helps. So the next thing I got was salsa. It's a corn and chili salsa and. With the salsa, I got chips also. Every week I get a big bag of chips and life is good. Mm -hmm. Most of our meals are chips and salsa. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. Next thing I got is tomatoes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the grape tomatoes. And I think they're like nice to snack on or put in salad. So it's fun. Yeah. Next thing I got was vegan cream cheese. This was the first time I saw it at Trader Joe's. And I just had it. And it tastes kind of gross on its own, but on with bread it tastes really good. Yeah, and why would you eat it on its own? So. Yeah, yeah, don't eat it on its so, own. So, you know, it's good. But I like eating stuff on its own. Okay. Okay, okay. alright. Um, the next thing I got is also a packet of chips. Um, but this is the organic Thaza. Were you just was... doing chair and we were eating chips? So, uh, yeah, but these are these, those little pocket ones, you can just dip them in the dip and then, you know, it goes, it's super fun. And dip them in what for The dip. <laughs> and I think it's better than normal chips because it has, like, you know, it's like a cup and you can put chips whatever. Next thing I got was just chickpeas, again, for curries and stuff and protein. We love curry. <laughs> the next thing I got are this teeny tiny avocados. So, I... We love avocados yeah. and are kind of obsessed with them, so need a bag every week. So. Avocados for the win! The next thing I got was just soy milk. I put it in my chai, soy chai. I make really good chai and also in my coffee and stuff. Also real chai, not the real chai. chai. No, no. Not yeah. stuff, real Indian chai. Yeah. Okay. The next thing I got are spinach to tortillas. I ship these like freshman year in the dining halls a lot, but they're just good for like wraps and stuff. So. And green is equal to health. Yeah. Moving on, green is equal to health. <laughs> I got a bag of broccoli just for salads and stuff. Um, hopefully I finish it. Or she tends to throw them a lot. My mom is going to watch it. Okay. So, staying on the green trend, I got some, you know, salad mix for salad. Because it's pretty self explanatory I also got spinach, but I don't eat salads as much. Palu also doesn't eat, he's just saying it. I put it in again in my curry or like other stuff. What other stuff? Salad only on the Um, Again, staying on the green oh, trend. <laughs> I got shredded green and red cabbage with orange carrots. Just, it's an easy thing to just throw in your salad instead of like cutting things every time. So. She lazy. Yeah, <laughs> if you want to say that. The next thing I got was just grape tomatoes. I love dipping them in hummus and eating them or in salads. Yeah, or on avo toast, but avo toast also they taste good. The next thing I got, okay this is super interesting, it is this and super it's called vegetable and soba noodles stir fry kits. There's a lot of like Asian food in there with like some noodles and soy sauce and you can just cook it on the pan. So I think it'll be super interesting. Next thing I got was nutrition yeast. I use this a lot. I go through maybe like two bags a month. It tastes like cheese kind of and it goes on everything. Salads, pasta, eh, anything. Okay, the next thing I got are Honeycrisp apples, which I think are super famous in Minnesota. They were made here. They are made here. They are made here at the U, like our college. Come so, down, come it's down. famous. And they are like super sweet, just like me. So, yeah, I had to get them. 
Um, the next thing I got was the everything but the bagel seasoning. Again, this goes on avo toast, and we both eat it a lot. So, yeah, that's lit. The next thing I got is sweet potato noki. Um, this is in their frozen section. I'm like obsessed with it. It tastes so good. Like, I can't describe it. She eats it for all her meals. Basically. Yeah, you just have to try it. To know. You don't cook. <laughs> the next thing I got was peanut butter. I am obsessed with peanut butter. I eat peanut butter with everything, especially apples. It tastes really good. Try it. Mm -hmm. Um, the next thing I got is yogurt, and this is in peaches and cream and mango and cream. They have these yogurt cups that are like so yummy. They have like vanilla, blueberry, stuff like that, and very good breakfast. So. Next thing I got was roasted garlic hummus. Hummus is just great and tater juice has a lot of flavors but this one's probably my favorite so I got this. The next thing I got is some yellow jackfruit curry with uh, jasmine rice. As I said, we love curry. This is just, you know, Thai. So good. Like We love like, Thai also. Yeah, we love Thai food as well. <laughs> and I just cannot describe as I said. Yeah. Ooh. Next thing I got was this vegan kale, cashew and basil pesto. Um, it's just a really nice sauce, again to put in like pasta and stuff and it's vegan. Um, but it's not healthy or anything but it tastes really good. Again going with the Thai trend, I got vegetable pad thai or pad thai, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and again super good, super peanutty so if you're allergic don't. Yes. <laughs> you die. Yeah. So. Okay, going with the Thai theme again. I got Thai vegetable gyoza, like dumplings. These are really good and for frozen stuff, they get really crispy when you like just pan fry them with nothing. I literally pan fry them with water and this is crispy. Very good. Yeah, and also a side note, Trader Joe's frozen food is like so good it's because warm. if you look at the ingredients, there's nothing that's like not natural in there. Yeah, so. Yeah. Trader Joe's so sponsor us. <laughs> yes! Oh my god! We literally like Trader Joe's rocks. <laughs> okay, um, the next thing I got is a Mexican style blend of cheese. So as I said, I eat my uh, drink, eat my tomato soup or drink my tomato soup with um, grilled cheese. So this is what I use for that. Yeah. Um, okay, the next thing I got were fruits. So I got a thing of strawberries and I got a thing of mandarins. The last thing I got is mini cucumbers to just like put in my salad. So yeah. Um I'm done with my stuff, but Mukta has a little bit more so. Because Palu don't cook. Oh or Palu <laughs> don't eat. Oh. Okay guys, I got a bag of me, just kidding. I got a bag of potatoes. Um this you can just eat anyhow. I'm not gonna tell you how to eat potatoes, so eat them. And I got a bag of baby zucchini. These are also really nice for pastas or salads, stuff like that. And the last thing I got was frozen penne arabiata pasta. This is also half of my meals and it's really warm. You should try it. So that's all we have for you guys today. Thank you for joining in us on this video. Like, share, subscribe. And hit that <laughs> bell icon button. And look out for our next vlog this coming Thursday. It's Bye. about to be lit. Bye.